Hi, my name is Dr. Simon Terhalsen, and I'm going to try to answer the question, what can APR do right now? I say try because APR is developing so rapidly that uh, the answer will probably be different tomorrow. And I can't really talk about what APR can do without briefly listing the three types of methods that are the most popular to use. Uh, first off is the simple mutations like changing operators, constants or variables, uh, since a great portion of bugs in the wild can usually be fixed by simple typo-like fixes. Uh, this is what any APR tool worth its salt uh, should be able to do. Secondly, APR can utilize refactoring methods, uh, everything from simple rearrangement of lines uh, or short pieces of code to major reconstructing of architecture of a whole system. Thirdly, and this is perhaps APR's least mature avenue, uh, but in my opinion, one of the most promising, uh, the generating of new code. Now this can be accomplished by constructing patches with material from the code uh, that's being fixed, or even generating from scratch with methods such as genetic programming, then placing the new code at the correct place in the system being fixed. This technique of generating and tr transplanting code has had fair success in improving software, that is, uh, performance-wise. And it's still only at the early research stages regarding its use in fixing defects at the moment. Now, with these techniques, APR can handle fixing various types of bugs. Uh, the most obvious group of bugs are the functional ones where the output or the functionality of the program is incorrect. Uh, these types are most often fixed with uh, mutations, sometimes just a couple of small changes. But APR can also handle the ones that require a couple or more uh, number of mutations in different parts of the code. Not many though, as this becomes measurably more difficult when the bugs are caused by many faulty co code segments that are spread more widely uh, in the program. Compatibility issues is another group of bugs that APR can deal with to some extent, uh, where software doesn't behave as it should when ported to other operating systems or hardware. Uh, APR can use mutations or refactoring techniques to find simple patches uh, to fix these incompatibilities. Uh, APR can also deal with uh, security bugs with the same techniques and as long as the fix is not too extensive. Which is kind of the caveat of APR in general. Uh, it can easily deal with fixing bugs that require relatively small changes in a few places and the bugs have to be testable. That is, there needs to be a mechanism uh, usually unit tests, that can tell the APR tool when the bug has been fixed. If fixing the bugs uh, requires extensive changes to the code, then APR uh, will probably not find a fix, or at least not within a reasonable time or using justifiable amount of computing resources. And obviously, if we can't test for the presence of the bug, we have no way to let the APR tool know when it has found a fix. Generally though, we know there's a bug uh, when we know how to test for it, right? Uh, but the gist of what APR can do uh, is that it can fix bugs and issues that are testable by automatic means and are fixable by relatively small changes. At least that's the state of APR today who knows what will happen tomorrow.